What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the new show of I Ain't Gonna Say Nothing, but to where we talk about everything that's going on in pop culture, whatever's trending on Twitter, whatever's trending on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. If it's trending, it's being talked about here. So sit Give back, relax, and let's Give talk it about it. I ain't gonna say nothing, but who really cared about the the sen- the Senate election that happened in Georgia? Yes, I know it affected us in a couple of different ways because we had two black men running for a Senate office. That's fine, but we have probably one of the most dumbest ever token man that was running opposed of the Dem- Democratic Party, uh, Raphael Warnock. I mean, look at this Negro. He just looks like he's about to tell someone. I mean, he even sounds dumber than he actually looks. Sure, he was a prominent football player back in the 80s and 90s, but ever since then, don't nobody really care about him. I mean, he did try to have a failed wrestling career and a failed wrestling, a boxing career, even MMA, but it didn't work out for him. And so what he's going to do, yes, they tried to count the votes and once again, everybody wanted to stop it at a certain number, just like Trump. Once the numbers were for them, then they was like, okay, cut it, we're done. But it didn't turn out that way. How it turned out is Warnock kept his seat in the Senate. And now the state of Georgia is still a blue state. It is no longer a red state like it has been for the last million years. So here we are. So, I mean, I ain't going to say nothing, but who really cared when you had two prominent people running for office? Sure, it made a difference, but you know what? It didn't make a big of a difference because we all know politics are nothing but liars. They're liars to where they're going to tell you they're going to do something, but really not because they got their hands behind their back with their fingers crossed as if they actually care and we know they really don't. So, I ain't going to say nothing, but it's whatever going on to the next i ain't gonna say nothing but who really cares about britney garner i mean in some senses we should uh be sorry for her why because she was a basketball player not only a basketball player but she was a black gay athlete and gays in this country are treated very unpoorly they're treated to the way to almost their second class nature because nobody really wants to deal with it because now now more bt community is putting everything in our face to where you just have to be able to accept it or not remember some 30 40 50 even 60 years ago you couldn't say that you were gay and be out and about about it people did not want to know now it's like it's a martyr that if you're not gay or if you don't uh, support it then you're a hater I can say nobody's really a hater. It's just some things we don't want to know about. We don't want to see. You can do it, fine, but you don't need to be blatantly obvious. Everybody can accept it. Yes, they can, but you don't need to make people accept it. And this is another thing is like, okay, so what? She should have been a little bit more, had a little bit more fucking common sense when you should have known you can't take drugs over to another country and just thinking you're going to skate off. Just because you're an athlete does not mean you get some type of notoriety just to be able to do it just because. Now, all because she was locked up in a sense that she spent 300 days for being um, wrongly convicted. I mean, how can you be wrongly convicted? You're a pot smoking basketball player who think you were above the law and that didn't happen. Now you're going to be some type of martyr of justice. When that's not fair. There are other Americans that are locked up each and everywhere in different countries, but you don't see them being trying to be brought home just because. I think sometimes uh, people make examples of other people for the sake of others when that's really not the case. So now everybody's going to call her some type of hero. I'm not one to judge. I'm just saying. We all have our opinions of some things, but in this case, it's almost like it doesn't really matter because it doesn't affect me. I'm going on about my life as if it just didn't happen. I'm not going to say nothing, but who really cares? I'm not going to say nothing, but the holidays, yeah, they suck ass. Why? Because, okay, so Christmas, everybody 
gets in the tissue around what November and then Black Friday hits and then you're getting all these stupid deals that normally you'll never find when you really could if you just shop like you're supposed to I'm not gonna say nothing but Christmas is nothing more than a joke I can remember when Christmas used to mean something but now it doesn't especially when you're an older adult because now you're paying for it for somebody else only time we really get something is when we get a break from all the goddamn shopping that we do from all the energy that we put out trying to make other people happy like really christmas is supposed to be the celebration of jesus but everybody seems to forget that because they're not focused on jesus and they're more focused on the fucking christmas presents i'm not gonna say nothing but christmas is not what it used to be i can remember when i was a kid man i used to look forward to it because my grandma was a fucking magician when it came to christmas i'll never forget this one year she put one of my gifts in a taco box yes people a fucking taco box a taco box who made me think wow i couldn't believe it that she actually pulled it off and in this taco box she bought me this michael jordan watch that i had for a good two years um until it stopped working and i just never got the battery changed but then again in a sense it's like the the magic the luster of it all is gone because year after year it starts dwindling and then when you have your own kids it's like your joys were once there now is being fulfilled for somebody else but lesson behold we have to remember that mm, maybe mommy is really not working maybe she's just in her bedroom or her only fans twerking her ass for some guy who's like 50 living in indiana while he's down in his mom's basement just you know porking it all the way over and over and over again yeah so remember kids maybe this year for christmas mommy really didn't work while he was at home maybe she was in the bedroom snuggled up with the mailman and the dude from target you know trying to get her her trying to get her christmas thing going so you could be able to have that xbox or that ps5 or that bike you wanted yeah mommy got rolled for that bike that you're going to be riding on this christmas i ain't gonna say nothing but christmas really sucks i mean let's just be honest new year's now new year's is probably the adult holiday so christmas is the kids holiday new year's is the adult holiday where sometimes all our inhibitions just go to waste yes everybody wants to get all liquored up and have a good time and be able to do whatever they want in some type of disorderly fashion i mean somebody's going to get arrested some night somebody's going to die some night and hell maybe even a, ba a baby might be born that night just depends but in a sense we have to think about it like new year's there's a lot of excessive drinking even though there's excessive drinking throughout the year but then again this night is more special than anything because it's the one night to where you get to look back on your oh fuck moments and what i mean by this is maybe you had a moment to where you was dealing with a female and she was probably looking like a raccoon but that ass was so fat you just could pass up and then you go in and you know you want to just make sure that you got your uh your jimmy hat with you and you don't have one but she doesn't know so you just stick it in anyway and then you just let your people go then hopefully just hopefully you pulled out to where nothing got mixed up but the next thing you know about two and a half months later she calls you be like yeah i'm pregnant and the babies might be yours and you'd be thinking oh fuck oh no god no 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 yes i have my old folk moments but not one of that just like you know uh i i, I crapped at a fat bitch that i didn't know like she really wasn't fat she just had a little pudge but the next time i saw her she was like looking like malcolm extra belly i mean i'm just saying i mean it's just like sometimes you just gotta take one for a team coach like you really do like you got one coach you just gotta deal with it but i digress but yes you have one of those oh fuck moments like then you found out that the baby wasn't yours because she was you know sliding with someone else so as we fast forward to new year's and new year's eve and new year's day you'd be thinking oh fuck i'm glad i didn't do that i would never do that again so now you just have to learn always stay strapped out here because you never know what's going on and then we fast forward and we wake up on new year's day now most people do not want to work the next day especially if they're bringing in the new year and they go out you know after new year like 12 12 30 they want to get some breakfast then they want to go back to the crib chill go to sleep and then see what's transpiring the next day so yeah you get and then you think well i gotta wake up yeah 
I really gotta wake up. I really gotta wake up and go to work, and I don't want to. I mean, it's a new year, so maybe I should just show up anyway. But yeah, then you got your boss texting and calling you, be like, "Where you at? You need to be here. You were supposed to be here. Open up the store." So you go in anyway, and then next thing you know, your boss is just on your ass from the minute you get there. The minute you get there, griping and riping about you should have been here. Then I had to come in. Then nothing got done. Blah blah blah. And then it's one of those oh fuck moments those whole fuck moments would be like you know what fuck you fuck this i quit i mean it's a new year why not get a new job i'm not gonna say nothing but if you're going to drink drink responsibly but don't drink excessively so thank you for tuning in to the new show of i ain't gonna say nothing but so if you like this make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel on the new channel second look productions i'm your host will and i'll talk to y'all all soon